damned if I know. I've never seen anything like that before. It's almost as if something's attracting them somewhere. I haven't seen this much activity since the very beginning. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, they're zombies. So what the fuck are zombies supposed to do? So what do we do? Well, you are going to go back to camp and tell the others about this. We shouldn't split up. You know that. Normally I agree. But since they're all heading in that direction, I'd say it's pretty clear behind us. You should be all right. Just be careful. Invisible man, invisible man. Zombies don't carry knives, Dorothy. Hey, is there anybody alive up there? I'm Hayes. I'm not a zombie. Who is that? Shh. I think that's the cavalry. Do you think he's a staff sergeant? I see an arm. I see an arm. It's not a zombie. It's not a zombie. Here, here. Let me give you a hand. Oh, here. He's big. Oh, wow. That looks Come like on. the Air Force, Tomorrow. Army, and Marines combined. Thank God they repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell. <laughs> God, it's the Marines! Hope I didn't scare you there. Sergeant Hayes. Rich Vess, nice to meet you. This is my partner, Kelly. You followed the zombies here. Why are they here, do you know? Well, zombies are attracted to loud music and sound. You've got about every zombie within a hundred mile radius out there. They like dance music. We started at the broadcast equipment, and I was doing a 24 hour raid. And they just showed up. I've never seen so many in one place. I don't think it was just the loud music. So, none of you guys are a radio technician? We own the gay bar next door. Do you think you could show me what you did? I guess. Why would you want to attract zombies? You may not know this, but you two may have saved all of humanity. I got enough C4 explosives down there in my bag to rig up the sewers and blow this whole city to kingdom come. You can't blow up our town? What about our bar? Kelly, we talked about this. No one is blowing up my bar. All right. I'm not blowing anything up right this second. But will you at least show me what you did when you fired up the broadcast equipment? This is my home, you know? I completely understand. Well, Kelly did the broadcast. I just helped get everything set up. And it's set up exactly the way it was the first time? I think so. I cranked it up. I cranked it all the way up. First out, I picked out some really bitchin' music. I started with the Smiths, their old stuff. And then I moved into The Cure. Hey, don't worry so much about The Cure. Can you show me exactly how you work the broadcast equipment? Well, you push in the mic button here, and you talk. 
and then you put your CDs over over here, and then you press the play button. See? So that's it. Oh yeah, well, and this one. Bingo. I still don't understand. Apparently, zombies are drawn to low frequency vibrations. So when you overloaded the low frequency band, you attracted every zombie in the area. I see. Guys, whether you're meant to or not, you figured out a way to get rid of all the zombies. You two are gonna be heroes. Well, Sergeant Hayes, if nothing else, I think this calls for a drink. The bar next door is open and drinks are on the house. You don't have to ask me twice. Cocktails! All right, Sergeant Hayes, I'm betting you're a beer drinker, am I right? You know it. I'll drink damn near anything, but a cold beer right now sounds awesome. You're in luck. Cooler still works, and I got about six cases that need to go. Nice. You know you guys are very lucky to be alive. Most of the people in the urban areas, when the Omega virus hit, died very quickly. The Omega virus? Is that what it's called? What exactly is it, Sergeant Hayes? I don't know exactly, but what I do know is that it's viral, contagious, and 100% deadly. That's why it's called the Omega virus. We're in radio contact right now on the West Coast with a scientist named Dr. Fuller. So there are other survivors? Oh yeah, there's a few of them scattered out here and there. There's 14 in my group alone, but six of those are just kids. But you're in contact with the government, right? You are Army. Baby, the government is gone. According to Dr. Fuller, the virus had a 99.9% .9 mortality rate. Were it. But you said you had radio contact. Yeah. There are a few scattered survivors. People were smart enough to hide in the deep boonies or national forest, but most people couldn't do that. When their friends and relatives got sick, they tried to help them. I mean, you can't blame them, but that only helped the virus do its work. I always knew it'd be zombies. Yeah, zombies. What a kick in the ass. There are probably a few lucky survivors like you guys, but unless you had food and water stockpiled, you would have had to have gone outside sometime. I mean, I am assuming you didn't have any contact with them, right? Actually, we did. You did? Well, one got in, and I used Kelly's stun gun on it and pushed it back outside. And we kind of brought a few zombies inside to give them makeovers. You did what? We stunned the zombies that we knew and gave them makeovers. We were getting ready for our fall fashion show when all this happened, so we just... You know. Wow. I thought I was nuts. Hey, watch it, mister! <laughs> No offense, guys, that was pretty ballsy, but you know you could have been killed. I guess it was a pretty crazy thing to do, but with how crazy everything is, I figured, what the hell? Well, I'll say, the Army's definitely missed a couple good troopers with you, too, and you know what? I'm glad I found you. I always wanted to join the Army, but I couldn't, you know, being gay and all. You know, I never agreed with that don't ask, don't tell bullshit. As far as I'm concerned, if a man can carry his weight, it doesn't matter what sexual preference he has. Thank you. And I'd join your army anytime, Sergeant Hayes. Kelly. Well, he is man candy. So you just stunned him? I never tried that, I just shot him. The virus can't have spread everywhere. What about islands like Australia or New Zealand? As far as I can tell, any place that's got an airport got hit. Right now, it's pretty much worldwide. So all the cities are full of zombies? Yes, I'm afraid so. This is just great. Any place worth living in is toast. And I'm not going to go live in a cave somewhere with no beauty products, no electricity, no music, no way, no sir, not me. It's not that bad, Kelly. You'll adjust if you just give it a chance. No, humanity is done, civilization is gone, game over, man. Listen, it will take some time, but I can get rid of every damn zombie on this rock. Yeah, by blowing up every city in town, every school, every library, every hospital, everything that makes life worth living. Listen, humans will survive. We can all start over. Otherwise, all we're gonna have is a bunch of dead corpses wandering around. As far as I'm concerned- Kelly, we shouldn't be arguing with our guest. What exactly is your plan, Sergeant Hayes? Well, I need to get back to my group. But I'll tell you what, this is a perfect time to see if rigging the sewers will work. You mean blow up the town? Those zombies out there are never going to leave. I know you didn't mean to attract them. You guys will not last here forever. I'm not leaving the bar, period. Kelly, I'll make you a deal. We'll cut cards for it, okay? You win, we stay. I win, we go. 
We've come this far. We can't quit now. We need to see this through to the end. Okay, cut. Ten of hearts. Queen of spades. Bitch. How can we help Sergeant Hayes? Bring a couple days worth of food and water, good clothes, and definitely some comfortable shoes. Well, I need some time. Can I help? Actually, you can. Do you have a flashlight? Excellent. Let's roll. Get your things together. I'll be back. You two be careful. C4, got the detonator, jam that in, script the wire, attach it right here like this. After that, tape as close as you can to the ceiling. And what I want you to do is spread them out about 100, 200 feet or so. You go this way, I'll go back the way that I came. We'll meet back at the bar. Are these things safe? Oh yeah, they're totally safe. going anywhere without my beauty products. No! Not my sitting mirror! Rich, I'm not going anywhere without my beauty aid. And that is fine. We would take a truck to haul all of this crap out of here. Uh, if I can't go with my things, then I'm not going anywhere. Could I get a little help here, please? It's fine, Sergeant Hayes. I've decided Kelly and I are going to be staying here. If you stay, I can't blow the sewers. We're staying? Really? I'm blowing this bar. If this bar blows, I blow. That won't be necessary, Sergeant Hayes. I'm afraid I'll be staying. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, Rich, are you okay? I'm fine. It doesn't hurt at all. Probably due to all the whiskey I've been drinking. Did that happen while you were stringing the C4? Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. Sorry, Rich. This is all my fault. Nonsense. It's karma. Maybe Kelly and I were supposed to stay here just long enough to help you out. No offense, Sergeant Hayes, but to be honest, I'd rather go out the bang than go live somewhere with no heat, electricity, or music. I'll stay here with my man. I'll tell you what, you guys got real guts. No sense in you hanging around here. How about one for the road? Yeah, that'd be real good. To you, Sergeant Hayes. To you, George Clooney. Rest in peace, you beautiful bastard. How long do we have, Sergeant Hayes? Not long. It'll be quick. You won't feel a thing, I promise. I won't forget you guys. It's not too late, you know. You can still go with Sergeant Hayes. I don't know. We'll ask them once we get there.
Remember that.